Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a bomb ass look. So, I mean, every time I blink, I get blown away with this eyeshadow. And can you guess what palette we're using today? I'm gonna show you a sneak peek. Do you already know? If not, let's find out. Without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, you guys, so today we are starting off with brows. And as usual, we are brushing them through. And because of the kind of look we're gonna do today, we are going to apply foundation last and do the eyes first, just in case we get any fallout. The shade is pretty heavy and you know, you don't want that extra work, so. Actually, I need a mirror. It's a great thing this palette has a mirror inside. There we go, so we can use that. Okay, I hope you guys can see. Like, I feel like I need to step up my brow game. I'm usually like always doing this natural brow and I mean, I love that, I really like that, but you know, sometimes it's kind of fun to switch things around. Now I'm just framing them and filling them in with the pomade. Okay, so that is it, and wow, look at these bags underneath my eyes. I look really tired, you guys, I know. Just don't mind that, please, thank you. Now we are cleaning up wherever we, you know, messed up. This is what I like to start with, and I will also use this as a base. And I'm using a flat Morphe brush to Spread the product around. Make it look nice and even. Now whenever I have not self-tanned and have not put any foundation on, the concealer actually looks almost a little bit darker than my skin tone or like really similar to my skin tone. But everything will fall into place later and for this it is nice if you have the brushes really thin at the at the end and that is really helpful when you want to like come and clean up the very edges then at the very end i like to take the spoolie again and just brush them, brush them through one more time to get rid of the harsh lines. And there we go, a nice, clean, natural brow. Okay, you guys, so once we got that under control, I like to take some setting powder, and because we used concealer on the lid, I take some of my Makeup Revolution setting powder and I am setting my eyelid with it. Why are we doing this? because we don't want any creasing. There we go, you see this slightly yellowy undertone and it is because this is a banana powder. It's not a translucent setting powder. Okay, I am gonna go into this shade called Necessary and add that to my crease. And I'm not gonna add a lot, just a little bit definition. And if you feel like, I mean, this blended really nicely, but if you feel like you got like too harsh edges, then just pick up a clean blending brush and go over the edges and just blend, blend, blend and keep blending and it will all blend beautifully. While I'm at it, I'm gonna pick up a tapered brush and into that same shade and add it to my lower lash line as well. Hmm, I'm a little bit unsure. No, I'm gonna go in with the beautiful blue shade, this one called A Moment, because let's take a moment to appreciate it. In some lighting, it shifts purple, and oh my god, it is so beautiful. 
And this is just so beautiful. I mean, it is so blue. You don't even need like a base, like a blue base to make the shade really pop. I really like that. Now I'm picking up a tapered blending brush and going into that same blue shade to buff the edges out. I'm gonna go in a little bit with Churo. Now I'm taking that small tapered blending brush again into Game Over and with Game Over I'm just really going to focus this to the outer part of the eye. Maybe a little bit up to the crease as well. Now I'm just going to go back to the blue shade with the flat brush and pack the product onto the lid once again. Because I actually blended some of it away and as you see we have a really really small fallout situation going on so it's good we waited with foundation but you know it's not that messy I mean I love the formula of this eyeshadows so freaking much I mean just look at that this is so bomb beautiful. Moving on to the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna go with um, Girl By, which is this beautiful um, burgundy shade. And I will apply this to the whole lower lash line. And I am going to mix in just a little bit of Chudo. I'm just going to clean up this with a cupid spell and then I'm going to apply some of uh, just a kiss. Okay, there we go. I grabbed a clean makeup wipe and I'm cleaning everything up. Okay, so I did apply some lashes and also uh, I added a uh, eyeliner to my um, lower wall line and I'm now going to go in. As I mentioned with Just Kiss and just highlight this inner corner real quick. This should do for now. Okay, so moving on to the face. First of all, I'm going to I'm going to actually prime with the serum today. This is the Mitchell and Peach Flora number 1. It looks like this. It is this one it instantly absorbs i got this in my uh, beauty advent calendar from glossy box if you've seen the stories or my previous video i uploaded just to show you guys like what's inside this is really makes my skin so smooth and nice and i like to I will actually try for the first time today to apply it underneath my foundation. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is the two-in-one, so it's a foundation and a concealer. And I have mine in the shade uh, 03 Light Beige. This will probably be too dark for me right now, but it is okay. It's okay whenever I self-tan and I haven't done that in just a while, so... That is white, but we will make it work anyway. Yeah, so as you see, it is a little bit too dark, but again, it's totally fine. And to buff that into my skin, I'm gonna use the Morphe Y6. This brush is really soft and nice, gentle to your skin. There we go, and for concealer, I'm gonna use the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline, and I have two of these. I have one in the shade 20 and one in 10. So I'm actually gonna do the 20 over here. Then I'm gonna go in with 10. And add some kind of in between. And to buff the concealer in underneath my eyes, I'm going to use my favorite concealer brush at the moment. And this is uh, the one by Smashbox. There we go. And now we are going to set that. 
place and I'm gonna use the banana powder everywhere else but my under eyes I don't like this powder very much for that so for the under eye area I prefer the Laura Mercier translucent so that's what we're gonna do okay so moving on to bronzer and contour I'm gonna use the Maybelline bronze palette this is a warm toned palette I really love the blush in here and the powders are okay it sometimes uh, can tend to end up a little too warm like a little orange but for today's look it is okay and also the contour like that can you see beautiful definition it actually turned out really nice can you see the difference a little bit and a little bit to the jawline a little bit under the lip because i have no fillers and i like to you know make them appear a little bit more plumpy okay actually this was no good for nose contour i should have known better this has a shimmer to it, so it kind of just looks crazy, I have to say. But let's see if we can fix that. Picking up a clean kabuki brush to blend this out. And I wanted to do everything with just one palette, but I realize now that I will not be able to make this happen. So this is no good for a nose contour. Other than that, it looks really really pretty so let me just go and grab something else for the nose and I will be right back okay so there it is makeup revolution palette and for the nose I'm gonna go in with this shade right there a little mix with a little bit of this one because I just feel like that will be the perfect thing to do and for that I'm gonna use a blending brush actually Like that moving on to lips guys because we are about to be done with this look so for lips today I am going to use a nude combo first of all I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner okay so this is a lip liner and an eyeliner eye brightener in one the shade is medium 02 And this is also a small hack to make them look bigger later. The lip color today, I'm using the Melted uh, Long Wearing Lipstick from Too Faced. This is in Chihuahua. I really enjoy the scent of this. And also the applicator, it's really nice. Maybe it's not too dark at all. I think this will um, dry down a little bit darker though. So I still will go in with this lipstick from Maybelline. This is in the shade 710. Just a nice ombre effect. And of course, the last but not least step is the highlighter there we have it today we're using master chrome by maybelline i love adding this to my forehead as well that looks so good okay guys so this was it for today i hope you really like the look i really love how it turned out i'm still blown away with the eyeshadow palette every time i blink i kind of see that blue like flash it looks like it looks like some lighting effect don't you think mm, i just love it anyways i wish you guys an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye